Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go through some moments when celebrities insult late night talk show hosts in one way or in another and get banned in some cases. But before we get on with it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this. Now, let's get into it. During her first appearance on David Letterman, legendary singer Cher revealed her true feelings about the host. She shocked everyone when she blurted out he was an a-hole for not paying for her hotel. I've, I've been in a hotel for actually the last couple of months. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you want us to cover this? <laughs> did, did we agree to pay for part of it? Yes. <laughs> is, is that right? No. <laughs> let's let's uh, explore this a little. Why? Because you thought I was... Uh, uh, an ass. Actor Matt Damon insulted Jimmy Kimmel when he snuck into one of his late night shows with guest George Clooney. Damon came out with two strollers only to end up pranking and insulting Jimmy Kimmel during his interview. You're not a man. <laughs> That's not what your wife said. I can't believe you trust him with these children. It's really okay. it's ridiculous. Right there they are, right there. During the 2020 Golden Globes, comedian Ricky Gervais gave one of the most unforgettable monologues in TV history. Ricky insulted James Corden for being in Cats, which was one of the worst movies of that year. The world got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. He was also in the movie Cats but no one saw that. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs, right? Comedian Don Rickles was a huge fan of David Letterman and loved to trash talk the late night show host. Dave even created a segment of his top 10 Don Rickles insults about him, which was hilarious. Do yourself a favor, Letterman. Make an appointment with a brain surgeon. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> And then, and then I'll give him a cookie. Who picks your clothes? Stevie Wonder? Okay. Don't look now, Dave, but something died on your head. <laughs> yes, Don, but at least I have something on my head. Thank you. During David Letterman's last show, actor Steve Martin revealed what he thought of him after all these years. And he didn't hold back when it came to some of the savage insults about David Letterman's looks. Your extensive plastic surgery was a necessity and a mistake. <laughs> Russ Salzberg was insulted by legendary boxer Mike Tyson back in 99 during an interview before he went up against another boxer. From the start, Mike was being rude and cursing at the presenter instead of answering questions. Are there any concerns on your part? How about kill the this mother Well, for example, rage against uh, Evander Holyfield worked against you. Well, it. It's a fight, so whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. Hollywood actress Halle Berry played Mike Drop, a singing game where you battle with each other, and she went on the late night show with James Corden. While James was roasting Hallie on her Catwoman film, she roasted him so bad he was left speechless. Hallie is a classic, this whole thing's tragic. You're just Viola Davis, but not as charismatic. 2008, you were sexiest woman alive. Was that a moment when Beyonce briefly died? Fat jokes are too easy, I try to be nicer. But who held your pizza when you kissed Sean Spicer? James, late night's forgotten son. Jimmy Kimmel saved Obamacare. What the f have you done, son? <laughs> when Howard Stern was invited to Jimmy Kimmel Live, he did something no one expected. He insulted Jimmy for praising his enemy Letterman during an earlier show by dumping his underwear on Kimmel's desk during the show. I don't know whether it's embarrassment or no. you, you get more bang for your buck when you say Letterman was your hero, but you got into radio. That's how you got started. I got started in radio. And I was your hero. You still are my hero. Dave, when you retired, you gave me your neckties. You sent me all of your neckties that you wore on the show. Right. So I brought you a gift. Oh, this is my, this is my underwear, my socks, my t-shirts, and even my thong. <laughs> wow, what a, you can, what a beautiful gift you that can, is. Uh, 
Matt Damon and Jimmy Kimmel's beef has been going on for years, so it didn't come to much of a surprise to many when he insulted Jimmy when he was a guest on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. You've been on like Jimmy Kimmel, I've seen that. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> no, you haven't. I haven't. No, that's right. Well, I haven't. Maybe one day. Yeah. By the way, you called me, one invite, boom, here. That's it. I made it on the show. Yeah. That's how you host a talk yeah, show. Gonna... That's... <laughs> oh, really? That's how you host a talk show? Well... <laughs> Well, and I have some very bad news for you, Matt. You're not getting on the show tonight again, either. Yeah, that's right. You're not on the show again tonight. During a hilarious segment on Jimmy Kimmel Live, he and actress Lena Headey played a fun game where they talked to each other in Game of Thrones style. This included Headey happily insulting Jimmy while he tried to do the same. It's a shame it's around such a worthless neck. <laughs> for coming today. I know you have a busy schedule doing sex with your brother. It must be so exhausting. Last time. I believe your wife must say that to you every night. Harry Potter actress Emma Watson shocked the audience when she admitted to insulting Jimmy Fallon during the first time she appeared on the show. Emma mistook Fallon's insult for Kimmel's, and if you know anything about the two hosts, that is a huge insult. I love that Halloween candy thing that you do. And, and I said... And there was just silence. You know, when you get kids, you trick them, and I go, that's Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> <laughs> when Jimmy Kimmel made fun of Logan Paul in his late night show, he expected a huge reaction from the YouTuber, but not the insults he got. Logan responded to Jimmy with huge F you. Logan Paul, you know who that is? He's got a, I think he was, he's, he's one of two Siamese twins. They separated them and now they are on YouTube. They punch each other and stuff. Anyway, I made a joke about him the other night that he did not like at all. Honestly, Jimmy, f you, bro. I'm not, no, f that. Sarah Silverman indirectly insulted late night show host Jimmy Kimmel, who also happened to be her ex-boyfriend. Silverman admitted she didn't find him attractive anymore and it hurt a lot. I don't, I, I can't even imagine you as a sexual being anymore. Really? No. Oh, I you really, know really thought about it. I went like this. <laughs> Just, um, you look like a model. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. You're like doing your beard on what, a two? <laughs> <laughs> they have the same setting. It's one Jimmy Kimmel loved having Don Rickles on the show, and Don loved making jokes about Jimmy Kimmel live on his own show. One time, Don Rickles told Jimmy Kimmel he looked like a bad apple and he needed to get a nose job done. Yikes. Make fun of ourselves, as I make fun of you, you know. Thank you. You, know, you should be proud, because if I didn't like you, I wouldn't make fun of you. But as I look at you now, you gotta get a nose job. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. Try not to. <laughs> Don't be cute. <laughs> That was funny, thank Jimmy. You, you. <laughs> if you're different, you have a chance. Like, you're different, because nobody knows what the hell you are. <laughs> when Larry David was on Jimmy Kimmel Live to read more mean tweets, he had too much fun reading the insults about Jimmy Kimmel. David's infectious laughter made the mean tweets even more insulting. This is going to sound fantastic, but I forgot Jimmy Kimmel's <laughs> name. So I googled ugly late night talk show host. <laughs> And I got him top week. I bet Jimmy Kimmel would look like a fat slob if he never became a celebrity. Pretty funny. The only power Jimmy Kimmel has is he can jiggle the 13 fat rolls under the pew beard on his face. Late Night Show host John Oliver insulted Jimmy Kimmel when he was a guest on the show after his latest Emmy win. John made fun of Kimmel and his Late Night Show talk show for not being as good as his. Your show is absolutely excellent too, it really is. You're doing a, a great job. Well, thank you very much. I, I don't think you really mean that. I feel like you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. You don't. Why do you say that? Well, I just, because you're reading it for, from, from cue cards, you know? <laughs> See, it says... And that clip brings us to the end of today's video. Which of these insult moments were your favorite? Let us know down below and don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and keep up to date on all the new and exciting content we've got on the way for you. We'll see you next time.